Today's call to worship will be found in Psalm 95, verses 1 through 7, which is on page 553 of your Pew Bibles. Come and let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. And if everyone would like to join us in song, you guys can stand to your feet, and we are going to sing He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. able can kneel as we come to God in prayer we're going to be singing one of the songs we learned here in vacation Bible school he knows my name the words will be posted behind you if you would like to sing with us God, we kneel before you this morning, and we are so glad that you know us, that you made us, and as the VBS kids have been learning about this week, that you are a great maker, 
Have patience with us, Lord, and help us to have patience with you and realize that no matter how young or old we are, you're not quite done with us yet. Help us to look to you, look for you, so that we can be guided by you and that you can make us the boys, the girls, the men, the women, the people that you want us to be, and not just individually, but together as a group, as your church. Bless each of these children. Bless all of the rest of us older children. Forgive us when we go away from the path that you laid out for us. But we're so glad you welcome us back and are happy to point us back to the roadmap that has us becoming the people that you have designed us to be and can make us. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All righty, everybody. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of the kids, actually, for coming to VBS and having such a good attitude and participating and making all of these different things, right? We have learned at Maker Fun Factory that we can create and that we can love. And we've learned so many new things and we've met so many new friends. And oh, look, there's our friend Liam. Hey, so, Liam, we met him hmm, Tuesday and we learned that he is an inventor. And that just, that was perfect for Maker Fun Factory because, you know, we're making things and, you know, all that stuff. So we learned that he's a maker. And on the first day, we actually learned that God made us, right? Wow, God! That's right. God made us, and Liam makes things. I am an inventor to all you people that haven't met me yet. I'm an inventor, and I make things, but I don't quite know how to make things very well. So I've been asking my friends all week if they can help me, and if God can help me too. And... I've had a couple hiccups along the way, and I've had uh, I've broken my inventions, I've uh, ruined my stuff and fallen over, had my papers fall on the ground, but it was okay. I uh, just uh, had, some friend, had some help from my friends, and it all worked out with God's help, too. And you know, sometimes we got a little discouraged, maybe through the week. I know that our friend Liam got discouraged, and there was one day where... What happened? You had a bunch of plans. And yeah, I had my plans. They were all alphabetized. All of them. I was, holding him like, I was holding him like this. Walking in. I'm so clumsy. I just I just fall sometimes and they end up on the ground just like me all the time. Yeah, that, that happened. But you know what? I think that you got some encouragement from the fact that you learned that God is always for us, right? Yeah, and uh, it helped me. It helped me to put my put my mind to it, and get them all realphabetized and all my plans, and make up a new invention that I was able to bring in the next day. But something what happened. happened. Uh, you, did you none do of the other ground? inventors wanted to work with me, so oh. all I was left with was a little vacuum hose, and I couldn't even invent anything because nobody wanted to help me. But mm. I was able to ask for help from some of my other inventors, which were actually even better than any of the other ones that I was able to, that I was asking. And so we learned that even though sometimes it may feel like we're alone and we don't really have anybody's help, we know that God is always with us, right? Wow, God! That's right. So even though your friends weren't there to help you, you found some new friends. And you also knew that God was always with you and God could help you. Wow, God! Uh, yeah, I did. I found some new friends and I found some uh, new ways and new ideas on how to make my new invention. But I came in and I had my invention. It was all set, all finished. I was ready to reveal. It was in a bag. And once again, I bet you guys can guess what I did. I fell over. Uh, so I opened up the bag and it was broken. And I was so sad because I was really working really, really hard to help to make it for my mom so she could be proud, proud of me. And I just wanted her to be proud of me and look at the invention and see what I did and 
Have her smile. You know, sometimes we can get really discouraged when we may seem like we've failed. You know, Liam had been working on this invention for a really long time and he was really excited to show it to us, but then he dropped it and it broke. And you wanted to give it to your mom, right? Yeah. But then he didn't really want to give a bag of broken parts to his mom. But I reminded him that I'm pretty sure his mom would have loved it anyway because she loves him. And just like Liam's mom loves Liam, we know that God loves us. In fact, God always loves us. Wow, God! And so knowing that God loves us, we were able to go back to the drawing board together, and, and we fixed it. Yeah, we, we, we fixed it. We made it, we made it all better. We uh, put the pieces back together and put the gears back together. It turned nicely, and it worked. It worked. And I came in the next day with my invention, final, unbroken, ready for review. And here it is. It's right here. If you guys, if you guys want to look at it, it's right here. I, I made it. But... I uh, I didn't um, really know yeah, what it did, no. but I uh, yeah I made it. I know that. So I don't really think it does anything, right, guys? It it could, you know. There are some things that I bet we could think of that it could do, but standing on its own, it doesn't really look like it can do much. But you know, it it looks great. It looks great. You did a great job. But modern art. Yeah, you know, yeah, you could take it somewhere. But, you know, sometimes we love to make things. And just like we love to make things, we like to make them with a purpose, right? And we also learned that God has made each and every one of us for a reason. Wow, God! That's right. Each and every one of you, including Liam too, has been made for a reason and with a purpose. And each of you, that's right, wow, God. And each of you have something very, very special. And you guys each have a purpose and a particular piece to our huge puzzle, okay? And we also learned that Liam has a special gift for making things, right? And so here's what he made. I made this. I, uh, I should probably go back to the drawing board and make something new that actually works. Um, instead of this, but that's neither here nor there. Thanks for having a great week at Maker Fun Factory! Say thank you to Liam, and thank you guys! I wanted to share with you all uh, some pictures from this last amazing week that we've had, but before I get to that, raise your hand, kids, if you have a yellow bracelet like I'm wearing. Anybody wearing yellow? Can anyone come up here and tell me what those are for? Could someone come up and tell me? What about Sam? What are these for? God made us all. God made us all. And these were to remind us, they're called God sightings. So when we're away from church, away from all of our friends at VBS, these were a little reminder to look around. And yesterday, my God sighting, besides all of you, you want to wear mine? Oh, okay, thank you. My God sighting was I was at work and I had a patient, elderly young man, well, elderly man, he was about 95 and he wanted to see the prices right. And I said, why do you like that show? And guess what he said? He said, I like all the colors. And that was a God sighting to me, because he was getting a little bit forgetful, but for him, all the beautiful colors that God made, and just watching you guys all week have been my God sighting. So I want you all to sit back and enjoy our BBS Maker Fun Factory Week. Get ready to sing. Go.
made you for a reason. Wow! Get ready to sing. I also wanted to let you know that our lamb's offering today is going to our mission project and Richard's going to come up and tell us about something he knows a little bit about from Peru. So you have some little plastic bags with stickers that say Operation Kids a Kid. Every VBS we have a special mission project. So some of you may know that uh, it isn't just our church that is doing this project this week or this summer. Um, there's a publishing company out of the Denver area, Group Publishing, that um, designs all of this stuff. And in this valley, about a dozen churches get together and share the materials. So we didn't spend thousands of dollars, just our church putting all this stuff together. We shared that expense and that fun with a bunch of other churches. So as it happens this summer, there are several thousand Christian churches across the country that are doing the same mission project as part of their VBS. And in this case, the mission project that they chose in advance was fresh water wells in the country of Peru. Now, our congregation has a remarkable number of connections with Peru, given how small we actually are. Um, we have Peruvian church members. Our custodial staff is a Peruvian family. I had the pleasure of working in Peru for a number of years. And so uh, it was real joy this year to learn that the project was going to be in Peru. And so this week we've taught the kids a little bit about um, the importance of clean water and the challenge of finding clean water in a number of areas in Peru, especially in the rainforest where you'd think there'd be lots of clean water, but in fact there isn't. Most of the river water is um, polluted with one thing or another. And so what we've asked the kids to do this week, we asked them to bring four quarters every night. And so when I counted this last night, we had oh, a little under $150, which is a lot of quarters. And um, this morning, our lamb's offering is an invitation to our broader church family to contribute a little bit more. It takes about $100 to provide clean water in a well, to, to dig a clean water well in Peru. And so if we can move our $150 up to three or $400, that's several villages uh, across the country there that will be able to have clean water for their children to drink, to bathe in, and so on. And so on a, are the baskets, here today, I don't, see. where are the baskets? Okay, so I'm gonna do this a little bit differently because we normally don't have 50 kids worth of baskets. So I'm gonna ask crews one, three, and five. If you're in crew one, stand up. Where's crew one? Stand up and come on around by Miss Linda and get a basket. Crew number three, who's crew number three? Come on up, guys. And crew number five. Who's crew number five? Where are you guys? Right there? Okay. Get a basket and then stay put for a second while we talk to our God. We're going to pray. And then after the Lamb's offering, you guys, the crews, come back up to where you were sitting. Okay, are we ready to pray and talk to our God? Okay, let's pray. Father God, we thank you that... You have created people all around this world and that there are boys and girls in other places that we have the opportunity to bless and minister to this week and especially today. Bless the offering that we're collecting for fresh water in Peru. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go ahead.
Is the mic on? Yes. Okay. So every week, our, or excuse me, every day we learned about a new Bible buddy, and you could see Decker, our decorator crab. Who could tell me what Decker does? He decorates. He decorates. He decorates, he decorates his shell, and then the second day we learned about which guy? Tina, Tina the termite. What does Tina do? She she makes her home. <laughs> She makes her home out of dirt and spit. Spit. And on the third day, who did we learn about on the third day? Anybody down here remember? Bubba. Bubba the humpback whale. What does he do? He collects fish by making bubbles. He makes a bubble net. He makes a net to collect his fish out of bubbles. And then on the fourth day, who do we learn about? Skylar and he's a bower bird. What does the bower bird do? It makes it decorates it makes nests and then decorates it to attract females. And on the fifth day yesterday, who can remember all the way to yesterday? Anybody down here? How about on this side? The fifth day yesterday we learned about Um Bee. Abby I meant. Abby the bee, and what does she do? Um, she lays eggs. To make honey. Make honey. All right. And each day we had our Bible point, and that's when the kids yelled back, "Wow, God, how amazing!" So I've asked our five helpers here to read some Bible verses from each day's Bible point. So go ahead, sit, Lolly. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. Psalm 139.14. And on day two? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8.31. And on day three? The Lord God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Your unfailing love will last forever. Psalms 89.2. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Thank you, guys. Isn't that beautiful? All right, you can have a seat. All right, kids, come on up so we can close our Sabbath time together with our theme song for the whole week made for us. Come on up.
Would you please stand with these young ones that you have produced as we bless them and ask God for his blessing to stay with us as we go. God in heaven, we thank you for our children. We thank you for our parents. And aunties and uncles and everybody who is interested in seeing these kids be in heaven someday. Jesus, while we wait for you to come, we ask that we will not, not ever forget that you have made us, that you're with us, that you're for us, that you will come back and get us someday very quickly. God, be with us this Sabbath and help us to share what we have learned today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.